Hey guys, good morning. We are in uh, the U Street corridor. U Street to PSD. Hang on. It looks like we've got a police barricade uh, down here. Man with a gun has run into a building. Let's uh, let's see what we can see. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to turn. Fire department staging down here. We're gonna have to go around a block or two to figure out how to get closer. As the SWAT guys arriving or departing. still an ongoing situation. Let's see if we can get a better angle. So it's really quite a mess down here because there's a hospital, Howard University Hospital. A lot of ambulances got to go there, but traffic is just a nightmare. So let's see what we can see. This is 8th in Florida up there. That's where the command vehicle is. But I think, I think he's over a little block or two. Let's see if we can move around. So we're just down the street from Howard University Hospital. This is the intersection of Florida and Georgia Avenue. Uh, that barricade is about a block down that way. This is well known place because that place plays go-go music really loud all the time. They're already they're already jamming the go-go as the cops arrive. Falcon, the DC police helicopter. They're now overhead on this situation. Clear where the guy is. Uh, that's the intersection of 8th and Florida Avenue. That's where the initial call came. We don't think he's in this building over here, this nice one, because we see people walking around and there's a CVS there or whatever. I think he might be on the other side of the street in one of these low rises or that other apartment building, but not sure. So there is Nighthawk 2 heading over to become Marine 2 at the vice president's, but I'm still here. Okay, so police have said that the suspect is in 2000 Georgia Avenue, which is right there. No way. There's no way I would be able to get this close to an active shooter suspect. I think he's over on 8th Street, which is a block farther down that way. Uh, we're just going to wait here, though, because we're about to get a shot of the vice president's helicopter over all the police cars. And that's going to be a really cool photo. So I'm waiting for that. Sniper rifle. This truck right here. Okay guys, so that barricade situation lasted about two hours. It was originally reported as an armed robbery or attempted armed robbery, but then they ran into the building, police chased them into the building, and then they locked the doors and it was a barricade. SWAT came out or ERT came out and it went out for about two hours. Two people were taken into custody, a man and a woman. But later, as I actually took photos of the woman being taken into an ambulance and being handcuffed, uh, police sources said, mm, that's not really a suspect. I'm like whatever it was a great photo uh and also the person seemed to be under 15 or so and i don't really like pushing photos of potential suspects who are minors you know it's just nah um tomorrow we have cpac we have a governor's thing at the white house saturday donald trump is in town i think i'll probably cover that I'm not really sure what's going on saturday with my kids all right thanks a lot for watching guys we'll see you tomorrow